Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. We have a special painting for you today. We have an awesome sweet treat. This is a lovely flowered cake with a faded blue background. And this is what we're going to be painting today. I'm super excited for this one. So let me show you our colors. We have turquoise, which I ended up dumping a lot on there, on our fancy paint palette. We have phthalo blue, phthalo green, bright red, yellow, black, and white. So let's get started. Let me show you what brushes we're going to be using today. Of course, Big Daddy, because we love, love, love Big Daddy. He gets the job done, right? He fills our background, scoops up all that amazing color, and brings our paintings out. <clears throat> we also have these two little cute brushes. We have a cute little detail brush, and then we have this little tiny square brush. Now these are going to be to do the flowers on top of the cake, and then some of the background work. Let's get started. Put all your brushes in your cup of water. It is so important to keep your water, your brushes nice and wet. I'm going to grab some of the white and grab some of this turquoise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here in the middle because I really want this to dry as fast as possible. So I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of work my way out. And just keep grabbing some white and blue. Kind of throw it on here a little bit. And fill all this background. Now you can wet your brush again in order to wet your paint. Sometimes paints are real thick. And my turquoise always seems to be super thick. So I do like to wet it and kind of water it down a little bit. Just like a watercolor. And I just fill all of this in. And also, don't forget about your sides. So this is a very unique painting. You actually get to pick what kind of flowers you want on the top. You can pick your color background, of course. And I just want you to get creative with it. If you don't like the squares and triangles and stuff in the background, you don't have to do those. You could do cute little circles or whatever you choose. And here we go. So I'm super excited this week. I picked this painting because of course it's my birthday week, which I have to tell everybody. Normally I don't, but it's a big one. So I figured, what the heck, I might as well celebrate it, right? <laughs> and just have an awesome birthday week. I've kind of been celebrating the whole month, really. But who cares? This is the way that I look at it. I have four children, and I have celebrated their birthday parties every year for lots and lots of years. So why not just celebrate myself? I'm crazy excited though. So that's what inspired this painting and this would make a great gift for any of your friends who have a birthday coming up because when you give somebody a personalized unique gift like this they never forget it. They love it, they want to cherish it, they want to hang it. Let's just fill this in a little bit more and then we're gonna put a little bit down here on the bottom. Just clean your brush off. Don't get all fancy. Don't put a ton of paint down there. So I'm actually going to take some white and some of the phthalo blue and mix it together. You can grab some of this turquoise too, kind of mix it in there. I just want to make a table. So I'm just going a little bit darker here. Cute little tabletop. Now you don't have to put the tabletop, but if you don't, then your cake is going to be floating in space. 
and we don't want your cake to be floating in space. So that's why we put the tabletop. I really love mixing the different blues. I think it really makes it for fun, vintagey looking painting. And that's kind of what's, what's in right now, is a lot of the vintage looking paintings. Flip it to the side. Make sure you get your bottom part. And don't laugh. I forgot to do my whole one side. Oh man. What would I do without all of you? There we go. Perfect always keeping me in check always reminding me paint those sides paint the bottom here we go perfect now if any time you have any questions while we're painting please feel free to shoot us a message we're here to answer them for you you can go to our Facebook page brush tips and check us out, hit the like button, and then when you paint, make sure that you send us a picture of your painting. We will post it. We'll ask permission, of course, but we will post it for you. I'm just going to throw some of this blue in there, and voila. Let's see if it's straight, because I paint at an angle. Oh, there we go. I paint at an angle when I'm painting on, on this show here. So, there we go. That's a little bit better. If you want, you can take a ruler and make a straight line. Or just go straight in at it. When you go straight in at it, it is a lot easier to do a straight line. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. That's perfect. So now we want this to dry. So here we go. I did bring the little fan today if we need to use the little fan. Or we can just sing like, let it dry, let it dry. Or we could sing me happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I seriously never celebrate my birthday, but what the heck? I deserve it, right? We'll get it dry. We'll get it dry. I promise. All right. So on the background of the other one, I'm not sure if you could really see it, there is some light um, white in it, some lighter squares. I don't want to say squares. They're kind of like just trying X's and lines. I'm not sure if you can see. There we go. If we change the angle, you could see it a little bit better. There we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to take not the real tiny detail brush, but the second detail brush, the one that's a little bit bigger. And then all we're going to do is, I just went like this. Here we go. Just like this. And then, like this, almost like lattice. Make it look like it's got wallpaper behind it or, you know, whatever. And remember, our cake is going to go right here, so it's not super important that we get it all the way down there. We just want to make sure we have some through here. Okay. Perfect. And I think I'm going to leave it like this instead of adding the square in. You know I'm always changing paintings here, so 
but that's how we like it. We like for you to get creative. We want you to do your own thing. And I know I brought it. Here it is. Our little fan, thanks to Nico, right? We'll just let it dry. <laughs> we'll see if this will work. I'm sure it will. It's almost dry. We're doing good here. It's awesome. I love this turquoise blue. I'm so grateful that we have this color. I was mixing it before, but now we have it pre-mixed. So exciting. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is turning out great. This is almost dry, especially where I need it to be dry. This is awesome. Now you can, of course, go let the dog out, grab a nice cup of coffee. It's actually a rainy day out today. So if you're watching it live, then you can go grab a cup of coffee get a little snack, maybe a little slice of cake. I wonder if there's really cake out there that people make with big giant flowers on it. I feel like that's what I need to go do. Maybe I'll look for one. Okay, we're gonna take Big Daddy again and I'm just gonna rinse them off real good. And I'm gonna take some of that red, or I'm sorry, some of that white and I'm going to bring it over here, mix it with the red, and I'm going to make a real pretty pink. Now, of course, the more white you add, the more lighter pink it'll be. So if you want to go for a really, really light pink, then add a bunch of white. If you don't want it real light pink and you want it more of a bright pink, then just grab some red and put it in there. And then all we're going to do is make a big square. Okay, and then paint it all in. Now I like to go back and forth left to right because then it makes it look like the cake has been iced that way. Whoops, gotta mix some more pink. Here we go, perfect. I love it. It's so pretty. And just kind of round out the edges just a little bit. We don't want to get too crazy. We definitely want to make it look like a cake. Let me make sure it's straight. Oh, it's a little crooked. <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. I hate always having my back turned, so I try to paint at an angle. Clean this brush off really, really good. I actually need a little bit more white paint. Sometimes I run out of colors that I don't really think I'm going to run out of. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to make a plate. Okay, now I bring it up to the side. If you could see right here, I start out at the side, then I bring it down and I wrap it around and then I bring it up here again. Okay, and that's how I make the little plate. So cute. I also want to add just a little bit of white, just so it looks like a three layered cake. And I'm just going to add a little white around the trim here. Perfect. And all of this up here is going to be covered up with flowers. Whoops, I just lost that guy. That's all right, we could bring him back. It's all good. Not everybody has to do these lines. If you choose not to, that's okay. Soften this up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I love it. 
So what I want you to do next is I want you to grab, not that little tiny baby detail brush, but the medium one. It's middle sister day, that's what it is. Well, yesterday was middle sibling day, but middle sister, that's what we're gonna call this. So we're gonna start with our blues, and I'll start with a turquoise mixed with some of this blue. And I'll just pull it over to the side, phthalo blue and turquoise. And I'm gonna make a circle, okay? And I'm gonna fill it all in. And this is gonna look kinda sloppy, but honestly, this is like the easiest way to teach you how to make flowers like this, okay? So make a circle. Then let's grab some red and mix it with this blue a little bit and just give us a little purple color. Grab some white, mix it in there. And let's do a little purple one over here. Fill it all in and move on. Clean off your brush because we're gonna do some orange. Red mixed with yellow is orange. You can add a little white in there. It'll make it more of like a pastel-y orange. And let's do one here. And let's do one over here. Okay. See how I'm doing all these little circles here? Let's make a pink one. Pink. I know our back, or I mean our cake is pink, but that's okay. We'll just make a little bit more red. Make it nice and big. Do you hear the canvas? <laughs> so funny. All right. Let's make a cute little yellow one. I'm going to take some white and mix it with the yellow. And I'm just going to put it right here. Whoop, I pulled some of the orange. That's okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to take some of this yellow again, and I'm just going to kind of fill in up here, kind of throw some in that look like they are falling. You know how you have those flowers, kind of wild flowers that kind of sag like that? And then I want you to just grab straight red. We're going to come into our pink flower, and all we're going to do is a bunch of dash marks in there. I'm gonna put some circles in it, bring some dash marks around the outside. Do you see how messy that kind of looks now? I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna do the same thing with dark blue. I'm gonna come into this guy and just kind of throw some in there. You can even grab some of this turquoise and throw some turquoise in there and grab some white and throw some white in there. It just kind of helps make it look a little textured. Okay. I'm also going to pull some of that down there. Just some dash marks just to pull down, make it look like there's a flower falling there also. Clean off my brush. I am going to grab some Let's grab some, what color for the orange? Let's grab some yellow for the orange and just throw some yellow in there. Now I don't wanna go too crazy cause there's yellow right here, but I definitely wanna make it look fuller. Just like that. You can even bring some down here on this yellow one, throw some orange in there. Throw some orange over here. Throw some orange there. Okay. I'm gonna grab some white. And I'm actually gonna grab a lot of white for this one. Just to bring some in. And then some white over here on this pretty purple one. Okay. Clean off my brush really good. It's hard to work with oranges when you have blues and purples. So you have to be really careful because we do not want you to mud it up, okay? If you start to get it muddy, just walk away. Walk away from the painting, let it dry. Pull some of this purple through. 
and let's pull some purple through here too just like a little lilac falling let's clean off our brush really good why don't we let these flowers dry get a nice dry layer on them let's add some greenery so we have the phalo green and we have some yellow just pull those aside over here and make a lighter green mix 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 and whew, just like that okay you're just pulling down real soft and let's go like this make it look like leaves are coming down and you can even do some big leaves too like this Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And pull some more yellow, mix, mix, mix. I love it. It's so pretty. Let's do a little leaf here. A little leaf here. Now, of course, it's not looking the same. It never does. <laughs> I swear I paint all these. <laughs> It's just unique how they all kind of look different all the time. I use some greenery to kind of fill in over here. Maybe pull some nice greenery down here. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this. I want to eat it. I think I'm going to have to go buy myself a cake today. <laughs> if anyone can make me this cake, let me know. <laughs> that would be so cool if someone was like, here you go. Here's your cake, the one that you painted on TV. I would die. I would literally, I'd probably start crying. Let's add, let's add a little bit of this. I love this orange color that we kind of made, this pastel -y kind of orange. Let's add a couple little flowers like up here. There we go. Perfect. And let's clean that off. I'm going to pull some purples over to the left side with that purple that we made. And I'm just going to real lightly throw some purple in here. Throw a little bit more purple in here. And I'm actually going to outline my plate with the purple. I wasn't going to, but then I just, just now decided that I wanted to pull some purple down here. See how it just makes that plate pop a little bit? That's what I was looking for. Kind of play along, take your time. And again, check out our Facebook page because I can help you with all of your painting questions. Stop into the shop sometime if you see us into the studio. I should call it a studio sometime. I don't know why. Sometimes I call it a shop, which is, I guess, like my workshop. And I'm just going to fill this in a little bit more with some white. Kind of brighten this back up again. Bring that plate back to life. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I heart this. All right, let's do a couple more fun things on to, I'm going to add just some straight green here to this leaf. Bring it, pull it down a little bit more. Bring some here. Ooh, we'll make one a little swirly. Now we're getting all fancy. We got to be careful with this fanciness. 
<laughs> we're gonna oh my gosh we're getting a little rowdy over here check it out look at how rowdy we just got we just brought this painting even more to life all right check it out oh my gosh i love it i'm gonna add a little bit more white through the edges here just to kind of give that cake a nice shadow look yum 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 yes please i will eat this all I think I'm a little bit too excited over a cake, huh? Look at how perfect that looks. Look at how perfect your painting looks. Please, please, please share with me. Send us pictures, shoot us emails, whatever you can. I want to see you all paint this painting. And of course, we're gonna grab this little tiny detail brush. And like every great, amazing artist that I know you all are, we are going to run that through our white, get it to a nice point, and then we are going to sign our masterpiece just like this. Perfect. Thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing your artwork. Thank you.